In this video, we're going to use the automated parcel creation tools to subdivide an existing parcel using the slide and swing line commands. So first we have to go initiate the parcel creation tools by dropping down parcels, selecting parcel creation tools, and selecting our parcel layout tools bar. What we're gonna go ahead and do is specify our automatic parcel creation parameters. What we're gonna do is do a minimum area of a third of an acre, which is one, four, three, seven, five, 14,375 square feet. We're gonna set our minimum frontage as 60. We're gonna leave our minimum frontage at offset as yes. We're gonna change our frontage offset to 20 feet. We're going to have a minimum depth of 50 feet and a maximum depth of 50 feet we are not going to specify a maximum depth and we are going to use the shortest frontage. For our automatic parcel creation, we are going to leave on automatic mode and we are going to choose to redistribute the remainder. The choices for remainder distribution is if you come up with a solution and you have a small parcel left over that does not meet the parcel sizing criteria, this is how you choose to redistribute that remainder. You can either create a parcel from the remainder, place the remainder in the last parcel, or redistribute the remainder across all the parcels that you create. So I'm going to choose redistribute remainder, and you can see in the image below, it shows you how that remainder distribution is going to work. So now we're gonna drop down, and we are going to do a swing line creation first. Civil 3D is gonna prompt us to select what site we wanna do it in. We have these previous three parcels in the development site, so we're gonna go ahead and keep using the development site. We're going to make them property parcels and we are not going to assign label styles yet. So we're gonna go ahead and click OK. Civil 3D is prompting us to select a parcel to be subdivided. I want to subdivide this area so that we're gonna create them into smaller developable lots. So I'm gonna select the area label for this parcel and then Civil 3D will prompt me to select a starting point on my frontage. So my frontage is going to go along what could potentially be my right-of-way parcel. So I'm gonna select this point on my right-of-way frontage. I'm gonna go along this line and Civil 3D forces me to stay on this line because it knows that this entity is a frontage. So I'm gonna select an area that is about perpendicular to the corner of this. So we're gonna, we're gonna go right about here. And then Civil 3D is asking me to specify a swing point. My swing point is gonna be from this point right here and what Civil 3D automatically does is it creates these three swing line parcels and then tells me that this is gonna be a new parcel and this area is gonna be a new parcel. And so I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter to accept that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and drop down and choose a slide line create. So slide line create is asking me to subdivide another parcel. I'm gonna select the area label for this remaining area down here. Civil 3D is going to then prompt me to select a point on the frontage. I'm gonna start here, and I'm going to come around my frontage this way and go all the way around my frontage to this point here. Civil 3D is now asking me to specify an angle. This is the angle that our parcels will come off of our frontage at. So what I wanna do is I wanna select the endpoint of this parcel and select the back point of this parcel what Civil 3D is gonna do is it will now automatically create all these parcels along that frontage. I'm gonna hit enter to accept that, and I'm going to do one last slide line create. I'm gonna subdivide this property. I'm gonna use the fringe from this point, returning around to the end of this curve, and I'm gonna specify my angle from that point to my swing line point, and it's gonna give me three more parcels and I'm gonna hit enter to accept those parcels. And we have now used swing line and slide line to subdivide this single parcel into multiple smaller parcels.